What's new in CloudBee CI 2.426.3.3? On January 24, 2024, CloudBee CI 2.426.3.3 was released. In this video, we're going to be reviewing the changes that happened in that release. Also on January 24th, Jenkins LTS 2.426.3 was released. On January 25th, I did a video with Mark Waite talking about the changes that happened in that release. The link to that video is down in the description. If you've never taken a look at the release notes for CloudBees CI, let me show you how to get there. We're going to start at docs.cloudbees.com. Under Documentation, let's go to CloudBees CI. Then under the Documentation dropdown, select Release Notes. And here we're on the home page for all of the release notes for CloudBees CI. Now, before we start taking a look at the release notes, I want to call out this important block at the top. If you skip versions when you upgrade, refer to previous versions of the release notes for any relevant known issues or upgrade notes. What does that mean? Well, again, this release is 2.426.3.3. Let's say that I'm upgrading from a previous version, which is 2.414.3.8. I would need to go through the release notes for 426.1.2, 1.3, and 2.2 in order to understand any of the known issues or upgrade notes that I need to be aware of. As a Cloud BCI client, we recommend an assisted update to help make the update process easier. There is a link down in the description about how to get help with an assisted update. So let's go ahead and first take a look at the release notes for traditional platforms, and then we'll go over and take a look at the release notes for modern cloud platforms. Now here at the top, you can see that 2.426.3.3 is considered to be a security release. Let's go ahead and click into the full release notes for traditional platforms. What we'll see is a security advisory right at the top. Let's go ahead and click into that and take a look to what's happening with this security advisory. The top two items within the security advisory, arbitrary file read vulnerability through the CLI can lead to RCE. And the second one, which is cross-site WebSocket hijacking vulnerability in the CLI. The first one is considered to be critical and the second one is considered to be high. If you cannot upgrade right now to version 2.426.3.3, there is a workaround that you can apply. Down in the description of this video is a link off to a video that walks you through that full workaround process. There are other items within the security advisory. I highly recommend that you go through and read all of these items and see how they apply to you. Let's go ahead and go back over to our release notes. When we take a look at new features, we'll see there's one new feature with this release, the cross replica script console. Now, if you're an administrator, you may be used to using the script console within Manage Jenkins. What this does is it builds on top of the script console concept and allows you to run a script console on all of the replicas of an HA controller. Under feature enhancements, we now have the ability to do rolling upgrades with high availability. What does this mean? Once you have upgraded to 2.426.3.3, and if that controller is running in HA mode, then when you go to upgrade to newer versions of Cloud BCI, those upgrades should occur with zero downtime. So if you're wanting to be able to manage any kind of downtime during the upgrade process of your controllers, now is the time to start taking a look at running those controllers in HA mode. Let's go ahead and scroll down to the next section. There were a couple of other items related to HA. There are also some new items related to the CloudBees Pipeline Explorer. One of those is the integration with the Build Failure Analyzer plugin. If you're using Build Failure Analyzer today, now that information is bubbled up into CloudBees Pipeline Explorer. And then finally, for feature enhancements, there were a number of new endpoints to be able to download all the available configuration as code schemas. Now, you can download these schemas and check to make sure that your configuration as code YAMLs are validly formed. In the resolve section, there are a number of fixes for configuration as code, CloudBees Pipeline Explorer, and HA, along with a number of other fixes. Now let's go over and take a look at the items that are specific to modern cloud platforms. So if we go into the full release notes for modern cloud platforms, again, the security advisory is at the top. Just as a reminder, if you cannot upgrade right now to 2.426.3.3, there is a workaround available, but still you should go ahead and try to get upgraded to 2.426.3.3 as soon as possible. Now for modern cloud platforms, there's nothing new specifically for new features, but there are some items that are specific to feature enhancements. 
This first item, Display Replica Set Summary in Manage Controller Management Page, gives you the ability to see the information about the replicas in a much easier fashion. The next big thing is supporting hibernation for HA controllers. This has been one of the top requests since HA came out in 2023. What you'll be able to do now is if you have a controller set up for high availability within modern cloud platforms, you can set that controller up to hibernate if it's not being used. By using hibernation, you'll be saving resources being used within your Kubernetes cluster, and potentially you might even have a cost savings if your Kubernetes cluster is set up to auto scale. One more item I want to call out specifically about high availability is the changes to the HA controllers are now applied directly without needing an explicit start and stop. Now, one more item for modern cloud platforms. And this is actually a known issue. Now, this known issue is specifically for modern cloud platforms and not for traditional platforms. When we take a look at the known issues, what we'll see is split pod templates into one page. This is a known issue and will be resolved in a future release. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on X at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.